So I just got back from vacation, San Francisco. Had a blast. And in San Francisco, which is very international, I stayed at the corner of Chinatown and Little Italy, and also Girls, Girls, Girlsville. I found a little Cuban restaurant in Haight Ashbury, which I hated, by the way. Good name for it. Kick ass Yuca Al Mojo. Spelled Mojo. So we're gonna make some Cuban sandwiches and Yuca Al Mojo. Don't you hate when you have like feel like you have to burp, but you don't? Hello and welcome once again to Cooking Under the Influence with me, your host and chef du jour. I'm Sean, but you probably know that already. I'm gonna be making some Cuban food, Cuban sandwiches, and yucca al mojo. This is the pain in the butt. It's made from yucca root. You know that nasty looking stuff that looks like a zombie potato in the grocery store? That's what we're gonna be making. It's awesome. Hideous thing. Cool. And Cuban sandwiches. Lucy, you got some splendid to do. But as every good chef knows, before we start cooking, we need a drink. I've still got a little scotch left, so let's get a little refill, shall we? Today we're doing scotch on the rocks. Thank you very much. Ooh. I did a pork roast episode, so I'm not going to go all into that shit like I did before. Just go back and watch my pork roast episode. I'm going to be doing Cuban sandwiches, which is pork roast, ham, cheese, mustard, and bread. Pork roast. Olive oil. You know I like to use oregano, thyme, and sage on my pork roast. Well, I found Italian seasoning has exactly all that stuff in it, which is perfect. Yay. I am going to do something a little bit different this time. Now, this kind of occurred to me in a dream a little bit. So I'm going to get some Creole mustard, just make a little glaze with the Creole mustard on there. Look how smart I am. I preheated my oven before I even started recording. Genius. 300 degrees, full roast in the oven. Now while that's cooking, we're going to start our yuca al mojo. First thing you got to do is get some yucca root. What the hell is that? Let me show you. Also known as cassava. Which I always thought was a melon, but apparently not. Cassava, yucca root. Looks like a zombie potato. Let's peel it. I don't know how to gauge the quality of yucca root. This is the first time I've ever even touched the damn thing. Big chunk of this looks like it's made of wood. This is like third world food. And supposedly this stuff, you eat it like, you boil it, use it like potatoes. I don't know, we'll see about that. And being in Louisiana, I should know all about third world shit because, you know, Louisiana is like freaking end of the world. Boil this shit up and see what happens. This looks like it's made, it's still made of wood. I don't know about that one. Boil. Alright, now apparently you're supposed to boil the yucca root for about 20 to 30 minutes. Which can be a pain in the ass when you're cooking, but... We're waiting for our pork roast, which is going to take a good little while. And it gives us time to drink. Yay! I'll see you in about 30 minutes. After I've had a couple of these. Expect me to be a bit drunker when we come back. Okay, I'm back. Which means it's time for a refill. Looks like it's turned out okay. Much to my shock and amazement. Like potato tender for the most part. Alright, so since it's pretty tender, let's drain it. Yucca root, who knew? All right, let's make our mojo sauce. It's spelled like mojo. 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 So we get a little olive oil all up in there. Third degree burns are not fine. A couple of onions here. Let's slice that shit up. All right, so we got our third world root vegetables. Really burning. Wow. Carbon. All right, we got a couple of limes. You've heard of them before. I can juggle when I haven't been drinking. Come on, limes. What the hell? Be a team player. 
Put some juice up in there. Lime juice. All right, you know what that needs? Bada. What? Tur. What the hell? Well, let's let our onions turn all uh, translucent-ish, like they're cooking. I would sing some Cuban music, but I don't know any. Which is probably something for you to be grateful for. Although, Ricky Ricardo was Cuban. Baladu, Baladu, Ale! Oh, is that how it went? Oh, fucking no. Ah, Ricky! Lucy, you got some splendid to do! Our onions seem to be kind of cooking-ish. So, I've never done this before, so I'm just experimenting. Let's, I'm going to add the yucca root, which is all nice and soft and mushy. You know what wouldn't be bad in there is cilantro. Limes and cilantro goes together like basil and tomatoes. What do you know? I've got some cilantro. As if potatoes aren't third world enough already. So, let's add our cilantro to our third world dish. And we're going to throw in some garlic. You can never have enough garlic in shit. It's like a little dance that we're doing here. The mixing the yucca root dance. It is off the fucking heat. Drink your scotch. Oh, fuck. Kick open the drawer. Crusty brownness on it. I don't know. Can you see it? I don't know. Try not to bake your face. We need like 145 for pork. Let's let our mucha al yuhu, yuka, whatever the fuck this shit is. Let's let it just steep for a bit. And I'm going to drink some more and I'll get back to you in a little bit. Five more degrees on the pork roast, which means five more some things in the scotch. Okay, it's been, fuck, I don't know. It's been a while. It's been long enough for the temperature thingy to get to 150 degrees. So the pork roast can come out. Yay. I don't know, we haven't eaten anything, so I don't know how successful this is gonna be. We'll see. Nice, God, so difficult. Pork roast thing covered with sage and oregano and thyme and krill mustard. When you traumatize meat, let it rest, because otherwise it'll be like, it'll need like Xanax and Valium and antidepressants and shit. Yuka al mojo. Mojo. It's all vegan. Oh God, it's all vegan, thank God. We're not traumatizing any animals, but you know what? We're gonna have some freaking pork roast. <sighs> Scotch! Cause that's the kind of guy I am. I cut bread with a bread knife. Pork. Wait, what's the Cuban sandwich? Ham. Burp. Ham. I forgot to get ham at the store. We get bacon. And bacon is like the universal happy place of the ham world. Now how Swiss cheese got into a Cuban sandwich, I don't know. Maybe Cuba is storing all their vast hordes of wealth in Switzerland. I don't know. Because when you think of Cuba, you think of vast hordes of wealth. Sure. Kosher pickles. Don't ask me how kosher pickles got to be in Cuban food. Because, you know, when you think of kosher, you think of Cuban. Ow! Fuck! Just sliced my thumb. Kind of not surprised. French bread and Swiss cheese has melted and crisped nicely. Oh, look, there's some blood. Apparently, they need yellow mustard. Mmm. Put your bacon on there. We'll fix that with some scotch. You know, it's antiseptic. Smush it down. Because it's down what you gotta smush it down. Alright, so there we have it. 
got some pickles. We got our Cuban Sambo and yuca al mojo, yucca root, with a sauce of onions, cilantro, and lime juice, butter, and garlic. Let's see how it tastes. That came out really good. Oh my gosh. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, so there's some Cuban food for you. Who knew I could make Cuban food? Holy crap. Enjoy your Cuban sandwich. Enjoy your yuca al mojo. And bon appetit. And adios. Bye.